Hello and welcome to the quick video to answer this question from this person, Caroline. Caroline was asking in one of my videos where I actually moved this quad across from Betaflight to iNav. And there's this question here about motor mapping and how that was a bit of a nightmare in iNav. Now, the cool thing is, is that actually there is a way to do this and I'll kind of show it in this video. Actually, there's several ways to do this, but it's now an awful lot easier. So if you have this situation where you need to mount your ESC and flight controller in a slightly odd orientation, which means the motors aren't coming into the normal corners as you would expect. And I would always heartily recommend if you are a new builder to this kind of thing, always follow my uh, quad building for beginners series I'll put a link down below and try and keep the orientation with the way it's supposed to be you know things like the USB port comes here out the side each of the motors go into the corners but I appreciate occasionally you're doing a build where that just isn't possible so what are the different ways that you can do to fix this hopefully Caroline this answers it for you and other people who may be thinking now, in iNav, we don't have a similar thing to what's called resource mapping in Betaflight. Resource mapping allows you to change what particular outputs and pins and pads are used for uh, in the software, and that's not really available. There is an option if you wanted to, to kind of recompile the target and change the mapping of the motors. I think most of us aren't going to go anywhere near that because that is too much like hacking the matrix. However, if you go into the mixer tab, this is where a lot of the magic happens. So for example, we have this standard layout here. And if you scroll down, you can actually see how the throttle, aileron, elevator, and yaw are actually connected to each of the motors. So motor one, uh, two, three, and four, the default layout is here. And that is exactly the same as beta flight, which is why when we moved across from beta flight to iNav, we didn't have to do anything with the motors or the rotation because the defaults are exactly the same because iNav and beta flight are close cousins. And we can see here that the throttle is mapped absolutely onto each of the motors. So as I raise the throttle, each of the motors get all of the throttle. The roll is a little bit different. So for example, you can see that two of the motors get an, an inverse of the command versus two of them get a positive command. So three and four get a positive, one and two get a negative. So three and four get one and one and two get the other. And that's so when you roll, if you, the, the command will kind of increase the power on one set of motors and reduce the power on the other to cause it to roll over. Similarly with your, yours a little bit different because it means that what you're going to do is use the counter rotation of the torque to actually move the model around. So you need to match the motor that's going in the opposite direction of the way you want to work. Now that all seems incredibly complicated, but what it does mean is if you know which motor function is where, you can actually change these mixers. Again, would I do that? Probably not. The other way that you can do it is also in the CLI. There's something called motor mix. Here it is, which is basically the same thing we've just been looking at. And if you know how that works or you've done things in the past where you've changed how the motor mixes this work, you can just do everything in here. So let's me exit and reboot and show you the simplest way last because we don't have to hack the matrix and change the target we don't have to try and figure out how all those go together we can use this great little tool in the top right hand corner called mixer wizard now if we click on that in these latest versions we now get the quadcopter mixer wizard and you follow these instructions you remove the props obviously never attach the battery to a quad with the props attached, you're just asking for trouble. Then we need to connect the LiPo and use the output tab to test all the motors, note the position of each motor and so on, and then fill in the table below. Because you can decide, because at the moment this is standard mapping here. So we see here that the rear right motor is motor one, etc., etc. So what you would do is with the props off, power the model, we would go into the output tab, We'd go down here, we would click on this bit that says I understand the wrist, the propellers are removed with the battery on here. And then what we do is we would just increase the power, whichever motor, make a note of which motor was motor one, and we work our way through each of those, making a note as we go through 
Once we're happy with that, we would turn that off, go back into the mixer, and then what we would do is go through the mixer wizard and we'd match the location of each of the numbers in here, click apply, and then it's all set. Caroline, hopefully that helps. There is no need to get the soldering gun out. There's no need to go repin connectors. You can do it like that and it's relatively easy. Again, in terms of the full resource mapping, if you're a beta flight pilot that you might used to, it's not here. But for fixing things like motor outputs and the ordering, it's pretty easy these days. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.